Hi students, welcome back. Now continue with our uninformed search algorithm. So in the previous video, I explained the about the breadth first search, which is an uninformed search algorithm. And another type of the uninformed search algorithm is the depth first search. So it is recursive or non-recursive algorithm. We can uh, means depth first search may be a recursive or it may be a non-recursive. So it is a recursive algorithm for traversing a tree or a graph data structure so either it can traverse a tree or a graph data structure it is called depth first search why we call it as depth first search because it starts from the root node and follows each path to its greatest depth before moving to the next step path so it's it is moving in this direction whereas breadth first search will move in this direction okay that's why we call it as a breadth breadth first search b f s breadth first search and whereas if you're moving in this direction it is depth first search remember this so it is called depth first search because it starts from the root node starts from the root node uh, before starts from the root node and follows each path to its greatest depth node before moving to the next path depth first search uses a stack data structure so then what about the BFS? BFS use always Q. It use the data structure Q. Whereas depth first search uses the stack. Uses the. It uses the stack data structure. Okay. Uh, the process is similar to the breadth first search algorithm. The depth first is similar to the breadth first search. Only the difference is here we are using the data structure stack. And there we are using the Q. Then what about the advantages? It requires very less memory as it only needs to store a stack of nodes on the path from root node to the current node. Whereas in BFS, you required a more memory because the each level, all the nodes that are visiting until it reaches the goal node, it has to store all the nodes in the queue. But whereas in depth of a search, it requires less memory as it only needs to store a stack of nodes on the path from root node to the current node. It takes less time to reach to the goal node than BFS. Also, it takes less time. But whereas in BFS, the space as well as the time complexity is more. But in depth first search, it takes less time. Then what about the disadvantages? The disadvantages are there is a possibility that many states keep recurring and there is no guarantee of finding the solution. These are main disadvantages in this breadth, uh, depth first search. Whereas in BFS, even though it takes more time and the space, Anyhow, it will get the solution. It will find the goal node. But whereas in the depth first search, there is no guarantee of finding the solution. Why there is no guarantee? Because it's always, it's a loop condition. It's an infinite loop will be there. Let's see here. The breadth first search algorithm goes for deep down searching and sometimes it may go to the infinite loop. Still it going to depth until it reaches to the goal. Okay, whatever the depth that is present here. Okay, it, it going like this, going like this. Okay, if something is like this, it has to go to the infinite loop. Okay, it's deep down searching and sometimes it may go to the infinite loop also. Suppose if your goal node is somewhere is present here. Okay, you're searching here. So this is a main drawback of using the depth for search. So let me uh, explain you with an example about the depth for search. So the follow of depth for search will follow the order right, left and the uh, right node, left node, sorry, root node, left node and the right node. So let me take the example. This is a S A. Let me take this as a B C because this is the depth first search. First, let me complete the depth E G H I J K. Okay. So, the, in this way, it will go. Uh, here, these are the levels. Level 0, level 1, level 2, and level level 3. So, uh, 
here what's going on it starts searching from the root node okay it starts searching from the root node so i'm searching from root node start searching from the root node and traverse a first it traverse a then it goes to the b then it goes to the b then it goes to d then it goes to d so after d there is no search element okay there is no successor so then what it will do it backtracks it backtracks and goes to e so b is already visited so it goes to the e okay so uh, after e it will again backtrack the tree and e has no other successor so here e has no other successor and still gold node is not found because i, I have taken some gold node as g let me take g is a gold node let me take g is a my gold node but here I uh, there are no successor for the E, but I didn't reach the goal node. So then what it does after backtracking, it will traverse to the node C. It will traverse to the node C. Okay. And node C and there to G. So whenever the G is there and here it will terminate. It terminates. Why it terminates? Because it reads the goal node. Okay, it reaches the goal node. It will terminate as it founds the goal node. So, this part it won't be searched because I find the goal node. In this way, it travels. Here, backtracking is there. Backtracking is there in DFS. So, is it completeness or not? Let me talk about the completeness. Is it completeness or not? DFS search algorithm is complete within finite state space as it will expand every node within a limited search tree. Okay. It is. It is complete. Within. Finite state. Space because as it will expand every node within a limited search tree then what about the time complexity time complexity what about the time complexity the time complexity here is t of n is equal to 1 plus n square plus n cube plus so on plus n power m that is the order of n power m then what is this m here what is this M. So here the uh, this is actually equivalent to the node traversed by the algorithm. So here the M is nothing but maximum depth. Maximum depth of any node. Any node. And this can be much larger than D. So this M is much larger than the D. Okay. D you already know that, that the shallowest uh, that you it's a depth of that uh, final goal node. Okay, M is the maximum depth of any node. Then what about the space complexity? So the space complexity here is uh, the order of B power M. Okay, order of B M, sorry, order of B M. The depth of a search algorithm needs to store only single path. It's, uh, I already said that this is one of the advantage. Here it requires only less memory. So uh, the... DFS algorithm needs to store only single path from the root node. Hence, space complexity of DFS is equivalent to the size of the uh, whatever the set that it is here, which is the order of BM. Okay, M is the maximum depth of any node and B is that level. Then is it optimal or not? No, it is not optimal. DFS is not optimal, whereas BFS is optimal, but depth for search is not optimal. Non-optimal. Why it is non-optimal? As it may generate a large number of steps because it may goes to the infinite loop also. Sometimes it may goes to infinite, infinite loop also. Okay. So as it may generate a large number of steps or high cost to reach the goal node. Sometimes it may takes a lot of uh, uh, cost, high cost to reach the goal node. So, that's why we say optim uh, optimality for the depth for search is non-optimal. Thank you.